Hello everybody. I just wanted to uh, show you something that I thought was pretty neat and unique as far as uh, how these bikes need to be set up for Baja. Um, when you use uh, Baja pits uh, for 2023, it is a requirement to use a dry brake system. And uh, so I just wanted to do a quick video on uh, how that system works. So you can see how it's mounted in the top of the fuel can right there. And then there's a, a vent that just goes right into the top of the tank. And uh, it's got a special type of jerry can that's like an inverted jerry can with its own venting system. So they just keep it on a special stand and when you pull into the pits, the jerry can comes over and it's got a, a plunger that can fit right into that spot there. And then when it goes down, it's got a spring-loaded system that just opens up the uh, opening there. And uh, with the air vents, it allows the, the fuel to go in extremely fast. So your pits will only take like maybe five seconds and it's a full tank and then you're back on the road. So yeah, I'll show you uh, on this bike. It's uh, not set up yet, so this is just the internals of it. Uh, yeah, it's got the spring-loaded system in there. And so when it uh, plunges in the top, it just rides down those those little tracks and lets your fuel in and then it pops right back up and there's no fuel leaks nothing like that and then you can also get uh, this accessory which we got instead of buying the six hundred dollar fuel can we're just gonna have these mounted for our rides up until we get to the race and uh, yeah it's just a, a screw cap so you can buy the same type of tank uh, and then just have a normal normal cap So yeah, I thought it was uh, quite interesting, and I must take note on how extremely beautiful these graphics are on Brandon's bike. That SKDA really knows how to make their graphics. Really top quality, nice fitment, and uh, sheen on it. It's just perfect. It's almost like bodywork. Really nice stuff.